over time, I just learned that it's best to just do the thing instead of waiting for someone else in order to actually do the thing. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my experience of going to concerts all by myself. I'm so excited to finally get this out to you guys. I've got a lot of questions on whether it's safe, what it's like making friends, and overall the experience because a lot of people usually just wait to go with their friends or just don't go at all. So if you're interested, keep on watching. it. Before we get into the q and I just wanted to share my makeup looks for concerts. It's usually my everyday makeup. I do eyeliner, I wear mascara, I got some blush, bronzer, and highlighter going on over here. And then my everyday lippy from Glossier that I absolutely adore. So if you've seen a couple of my peachy makeup tutorials, then you pretty much got the gist. The first question that I get is, is it safe to go to concerts by yourself? And I want to say that it is extremely safe to go to concerts by yourself as long as you are street smart and aware of your surroundings. Of course, if you feel like anything is threatening you or you feel creeped out, you can always tell a group nearby or security, remove yourself from that area or move to a different section. There are so many alternatives and ways to get out of a situation that you don't feel safe in. And typically when I go to concerts, I've never really run into anything threatening like that or I've just like walked away if someone gave me kind of weird vibes. So I would say it's pretty safe to go to concerts by yourself, just be aware, and also tell someone that you're going to a concert, share a location if you need to, just so that people are aware of where you are and make sure that you make it home safe, just like anything in life. The second question that I get is, is it weird or awkward to go to concerts by yourself? And how do you even make friends when you go to these concerts? The first part of that question is, yes, it is awkward at first, but like anything, you get used to it. Once you even get to the venue, you're going to realize that people are here to see the artists. They don't really care about you. They're in their own worlds. So like that self-conscious feeling that you have is just you. You just need to kind of let it go and let things flow and enjoy the artists that you're there to see and the experience. And you'll find that you're able to enjoy it just like as if you had friends because at the end of the day, you're all kind of just paying attention to the same thing. The second part of that question is how do you even make friends? And it really depends. I would say don't have RBF, resting, be face. And also just be open to new experiences and new people. The ways I've made friends have been very random. I don't always make friends when I go to concerts, but when I do, I find that these people are absolutely fantastic and we have similar interests and it's such a great opportunity to expand my network. The first friend that I ever made at a concert that was like long term is my friend Venice, and that was like a really crazy story actually. It was a Sunday night and I was going to the Alina Baraz concert. So I did a lift shared and lo and behold there was a girl and her friend in the car and I just got in the front seat and I was just chilling. Music was playing and the friend made a comment about Justin Bieber and I normally don't respond to conversations like that in my lift but for whatever reason i was like nah this friend's wrong Venice is right so i was like yeah i agree with her and it kind of became like a whole discussion for a little bit and then i stopped talking to them i was doing my own thing checking my phone the lift driver is like okay you guys are here we realized we were going to the same place so i was like oh that's funny and i said have a good night and i got in line for whatever reason, Venice noticed that I wasn't looking for anyone and I was kind of just on my phone chilling. So she asked me if I was here by myself and I told her yes. And she asked me if I wanted to hang out with them. So I obviously accepted. So we ended up hanging out and bonding over the whole experience. It was such a great concert. And after they invited me to get food with them. So we ended up getting ramen and singing karaoke and that basically solidified our friendship. I told her about another concert that I was going to by myself and she ended up getting a ticket for it and we went to that together with some of her other friends and we haven't looked back since. She's been one of my closest friends and it's really great. I don't know what I would do without her in my life and it's all thanks to just being brave enough to go and experience something without depending on others. The other friend that I made, her name's Roshni and I met her at a jungle concert Concert. I was going alone I came a little late and I was somewhere up in the front and she asked me to hold her spot so I did and when she came back she started talking to me and we started talking about like photography and what we do and we just ended up becoming friends after that anytime she's in Philly we hang out and it's really great to have her as a friend as well so you never know you just like run into people and like-minded people considering if you're going to see your favorite artist more or less those people will also be interested in similar or adjacent qualities and hobbies. Another question that I get is, what do you take with you to the concert? I started taking a very small bag. This is it. It's very low profile. It's easy to put 
across your body and keep an eye on because it is a crowded environment. And in the front flap, I will always keep a portable charger. This is an anchor charger and the corresponding wire. And then in the back, I have, of course, my wallet. I have this little small envelope one from Urban Outfitters. It's super great. My lip gloss, of course. Uh, for a lot of concerts, you're not allowed to bring personal protection, such as mace or pepper spray, so I don't ever bring anything like that. My keys are pretty bare, as you can see. And in lieu of that, I definitely do believe in the power of thought and manifestation. So I do envision a safe space and good people in my life. And then from there, I don't go into these concerts with any feelings of fear or doubt. I go in very comfortably and um, at E, typically that's the experience that follows. So I never have had any issues with safety or anything of that nature. The concert that I'm attending today is a snot tour. It is with an opener named Heroin Father that I absolutely love. They don't typically come around the East Coast, so I figured it would be great to see them. And there was a sale, so the tickets were only $15. Super affordable and easy to get. A lot of my friends don't listen to them, so I decided to go by myself. And I'm pretty happy with that decision. I am going to be wearing this black top long sleeve because it's winter time, and then I'm going to be putting on a race car and NASCAR jacket. Of course, I'm wearing my docks and I'm pretty much good to go wearing black jeans and I'm really excited for the concert. It's not something I typically wear on a normal day. I feel like concerts are a great way to get a little more edgy with my fashion and wear something that I wouldn't necessarily wear to like work or like to hang out. So I really love this jacket. It's probably one of my favorite thrifted pieces and it's great for concerts because it's a decent layer and not too heavy and I can always wrap it around my waist. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down and chit chat with me about concerts. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope that my experiences help you feel more confident if you ever have to go to a concert by yourself. Don't let experiences go by because you're afraid to experience it alone. I think that there's beauty in being able to do things independently of others and it's really nice to just be able to experience something without fo having FOMO because you were uncomfortable to go just by yourself. If that's something that you struggle with or are experiencing, I say don't worry. It takes practice and like with anything, you'll get more comfortable as you do it. I'm not saying go to every single concert from here on by yourself. I do go to concerts with my friends when I'm able to, but I do live in a city uh, pretty much on my own and a lot of my friends who have similar music taste live up in New York, so it's not like I want to travel to New York on a weekday or vice versa. So this is what it is and I've learned to make it work for myself. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to your girl if you haven't already. I want to welcome you all to the Spicy Babe family for Spicy Babes only. <laughs> but no, we're actually inclusive. So um, join that. Subscribe. And then I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Let me know what your plans are for this weekend. Stay safe and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!